Hi, I'm John Byrne with Poets and Quants. Welcome to another edition of our one-on-one -on -one video series. Today, I'm in beautiful downtown Cambridge at the MIT Sloan School of Management with the longtime MIT professor, Charles Fine, who happens to have had an extraordinary journey in the last two and a half years. He has become president and dean of a brand new business school. It's called the Asia School of Business in Malaysia. Welcome, Charles. Thank you, John. So how in the world did you get on this journey of yours? Well, about three years ago, MIT Sloan School negotiated with the Central Bank of Malaysia, Bank Negara, an opportunity to partner and build a world-class business school in Kuala Lumpur. And you enrolled your first MBA class last year. It's a 20-month program, uh, but, but it's extraordinary in every kind of way because you literally brought out a blank piece of paper and drew up what you considered to be what an MBA program today should really look like. That's right. We started with a strategy. The strategy included what should the curriculum look like and what should the people look like. And the curriculum we decided should be very action learning focused, very clinically oriented. And the people should be MIT faculty teaching MIT courses to students of MIT caliber. We felt like action learning, that is clinical work, interaction with companies, project-based work, was central to where business school education was going. And now most of the faculty, at least in the first year, have been MIT professors. Right? That's right. So we bring MIT Sloan faculty over for one week or two week modules. And so our students get intense modules in marketing or finance or accounting. One week, that's all they're doing for those weeks. Then other weeks, they're off on their projects for intense weeks. It gives us a huge amount of flexibility to build in the project work and the academic work. And you've hired some resident faculty, of course. And it sounds like you've rated some very good schools for their PhD talent. We, we've done pretty well. So we've hired nine faculty. They're from eight different countries across four continents, also international. We have one with a Columbia PhD, one with a Stanford PhD, one with a Harvard PhD, one with an MIT PhD. So we've gotten some strong players. They're all young faculty, so new PhDs, but we think they're people with high potential and they'll grow with us. So Charles, 35 years as a professor, you've never really been a dean before. You've had, had some managerial positions and you've done a good deal of consulting. What's it like to be the dean for the first time and also of a brand new school like this? It's been an adventure and it's, it's been stressful but fun, I would say. Stressful meaning I'm juggling a lot of pieces and I want it to work out. I, I'm highly motivated to have this be successful. Sure. But it's also been fun. There's been an opportunity to be creative in terms of curriculum, creative in terms of organization. To be able to build something from the ground up has been exciting. In some sense, once you get rolling and th positive things happen, you get positive feedback, it helps you grow. And so that, that's been the fun part. And you've had the opportunity to leverage MIT's considerable resources. Well, that's true. In yeah. some sense, we're a very well-endowed startup. That The Central Bank of Malaysia, Bank Negara, has given generously of their funds to help us get started financially. And MIT Sloan School has given generously of faculty, staff, curriculum, and other capacities to help us get started. So we're, we're not a scrappy little startup in one sense. We have two very successful and mature parents, and those parents have helped us a lot. And in fact, uh, talking about startups, I mean, you're also in sort of a startup location, the training facilities of the Central Bank of Malaysia, but in fact, you're, you're building a new building, right? That's right. So the Central Bank has a very nice uh, training facility, which is adequate for our first few years, but they're building us an entire new building and a new residential campus, which ultimately will house about 700 students and 200 faculty and staff. So. That's a 10 to 15 year plan to fill yeah. up that building, but they're building the building over the next two years and we hope to move in in 2019. Wow, that's remarkable. So even though you're studying in Kuala Lumpur, it's, it sounds like a very global program in every sense of the word. There's no such thing as local business anymore. Everybody has to understand global business no matter where they work. And the advantage of going there, being there, and working there is very different from just studying about there. Malaysia has a Malay culture, a Hindu culture, and a Chinese culture. Asia is a very multicultural continent, and all of us at ASB are enriched by the exposure to these multiple cultures. So we're learning how to be more effective in interacting with people from different cultures. And even if you meet someone from a culture you've never been exposed to before, you have a much better understanding of the range of possible behaviors that may be acceptable or unacceptable 
if you've been exposed to multiple cultures. And I would bet though that when employers hire your graduates, they're not hiring their, their typical employees, they're hiring people who <coughs> they know or will expect to do things differently. So one of our corporate sponsors early on was Intel. Intel's been in Malaysia for a long time. They have a lot of manufacturing there. When they bring an expat into Malaysia from outside, it takes about two years for that person to learn to be productive in that environment. And the Intel folks said to us, with the curriculum that we've designed, they think they'll be able to take our graduates and use them much more quickly because they will have already digested some of the challenges of operating in the local cultures. One, one great piece of advice for people who would be interested in this opportunity to get an MBA in Malaysia, what would be your, your best advice? So we say we want people who are extraordinary and or unconventional. Extraordinary in some sense means perhaps measured along the traditional measures that business schools look at, strong in the IQ and EQ. Unconventional might be that you took a different path, that you were an entrepreneur, you were creative, you did something outrageous and outstanding, and you have a lot to show for it. We want people who want to be active in the world, if you want. Right. Well, Charles, thank you so much. Thanks very much. It's Charles Fine, the President and Dean of the Asia School of Business in Malaysia. This is John Byrne with Poets and Quads. Thanks for watching.